Uh, also, uh, I've worked with the Attorney General on issues of, uh, of worker rights. Uh, we uh, stood together when Pratt and Whitney wanted to send a thousand jet engine jobs uh, to Singapore and to the South. Uh, and uh, we were successful in uh, keeping those jobs here at least until December of 2010. But it was uh, the Attorney General's vigorous uh, activity in filing the amicus brief uh, that really helped uh, win the day. Uh, but we're going to continue to need uh, a strong leader who will fight and stand up for the workers of Connecticut uh, to keep really good manufacturing jobs here, and I would do that uh, as Attorney General. Uh, I mentioned that I live in Middletown. Uh, we lost six people in the clean energy explosion. Two of them I knew personally uh, because they are members of they were members of Democratic town committees of Old Saybrook and Colchester. It is outrageous to me that there is no state agency that has safety oversight of the construction of non-nuclear power plants. And as Attorney General, I would uh, stand up for worker safety and make sure uh, that we have the appropriate uh, agencies to oversee uh, the uh, safety uh, for our workers in Connecticut. Um, as Attorney General, I'd like to uh, expand the role of that office uh, in a couple of areas. Uh, I'd like to see uh, the building uh, or the creation of a public power authority to help bring down uh, the very high utility rates that we have uh, in Connecticut. I'd like to see a public power authority that would sell power directly to consumers. It would buy it from generators or uh, create power uh, through the construction of a publicly owned uh, power plant. Uh, and that would have the effect of cutting out the hedge funds and the investment banks and the middlemen that jack up the prices uh, of our utilities. Uh, regulation, deregulation has proved to be a disaster for our state, and I think it's important that we have an attorney general who is vigorously trying to bring down uh, utility rates. Uh, also, uh, I'd like to work uh, very hard uh, to prevent uh, and reduce domestic and family violence. Uh, we've seen uh, that last year there were 56,000 reported cases of domestic and family violence. Uh, sadly, there are many thousands more cases that go unreported. We are only one of five states that doesn't keep our domestic violence shelters open 24 hours a day. Uh, that's a sad thing, and I would work very hard to raise the $3 million that we would need to keep the shelters open 24 hours a day uh, because half of the domestic violence uh, occurs in our state between 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. in the morning. Uh, also, I'm the mother of three teenagers, and it's uh, very uh, disturbing to me uh, that uh, one in three teenagers say that they've been the victim of violence in a dating relationship. So if we are serious uh, about preventing domestic and family violence in the future, then we've got to educate uh, our young people and make sure they have positive role models and know uh, that violence isn't uh, acceptable. Uh, so those are the few of the things that I hope to work on uh, as Attorney General. Uh, this is a critical position uh, for our state, and we have to put forward the strongest candidate uh, for that important position. I'm one of three candidates that would like your support, uh, and uh, I would distinguish myself uh, from the other two in this way. Uh, I'm the only one who's run a big agency uh, and uh, managed uh, an agency that has a very strong legal function, just like the Attorney General's office. I'm the only one that's won uh, a very difficult statewide primary, <coughs> and it's won general elections by very large margins. I was very encouraged uh, by the Quinnipiac poll today uh, that shows me uh, at, fi at a 54 to 10 lead over one of my primary opponents, uh, but I don't take anything for granted. And I know the Republicans are trying to uh, win by keeping me off the ballot, and we're not gonna let that happen. Uh, I have a suit that's filed in uh, Superior Court in Hartford, uh, and I know we're going to win that uh, because, of course, I meet the 10-year requirement. And, by the way, that requirement is unconstitutional anyway because in 1980, we passed an amendment to our state constitution that says that if you are a voter and 18, uh, you can run for any office in the state. So that flatly nullifies that old uh, 1890s law. 
Uh, so with that, Madam Chair, uh, I thank you for the opportunity. I thank you for your flexibility. Uh, I was with uh, the Attorney General and many other state candidates in Canton, and so you'll probably see them trickling here shortly. Well, I'm so sorry I didn't see you come in. No, 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 no. So I thank you so much, and if anyone has any questions, I'd be very happy to uh, answer them.